Occupy Tampa protesters who have attempted to occupy Julian B. Lane Park along North Boulevard about a 10 minute walk from Curtis Hickson Park where they had previously been occupying along the sidewalk. We just saw a truck come off the top of the hill where protesters had set up their tents and the back of the truck was loaded with all of the camping equipment. The protesters who chose to leave and avoid arrest are still standing in solidarity with those who did not along the sidewalk. One transport vehicle is behind Tampa Prep next to the park, still being loaded with protesters who have been arrested. Another is still parked at the base of the hill. And you are watching live footage of an Occupy Tampa movement. Brought to you by WMNF News. The location of the occupation made it difficult to get any footage of what was unfolding while protesters were being arrested. So whether or not there was any pepper spray or any other means of force used by the Tampa Police Department is unknown. Um, what happened? Why? What happened? What happened? Like, this is called. I don't understand. No. Why the fuck is that? What happened? Why the fuck is that? Why the fuck is that? Two officers are walking towards the sidewalk where protesters have gathered. <laughs> Good job, guys. Great job. I'll open the door for you, honey. Keep the faith. The citizens of Tampa, thank you. Keep the faith. Officers showed up just after 11 o'clock on December 1st. It is now 12:25 a.m. December 2nd. We're being told that most of the occupiers began setting up camp around 10 o'clock following their General Assembly meeting. We're unsure of just how many law enforcement officers have been out here, but while the camp was being raided, there were at least seven or eight law enforcement officers guarding the perimeter of the park. One protester was arrested from the sidewalk after trespassing onto the park. A member of the media was questioned by law enforcement and was given a verbal trespass warning, but then released. Again, this footage is brought to you by WMNF News.
two more officers approaching the sidewalk. It's difficult to see in this lighting. <laughs> Officers, how many people have been arrested? Can you tell us how many people have been arrested so far? Hi, Mom. <laughs> We have an officer who appears to be taking video of people along the sidewalk. Yeah, one day you realize you're defending the one percent corporate interests and money interests. I like your boots. They're shiny and party. So many people did you arrest today, Boucher? If you give it to the school first, it'll look really cool, so... <laughs> Officer, I'm Janelle Irwin with WMNF News. Can you tell us how many people were arrested this evening? How can we read it about it in the paper if you don't tell the media? If we say, please use manners and ask really nicely, will you tell us? Hey, you want to play hide and go seek? <laughs> yeah. Is your public information officer going to be available for comment? You guys ever played manhunt? Yeah. You look at each mug. Yeah. That's the spirit. So, uh, what's it like to be part of the 99%, sir? They don't know yet. They don't know yet. They don't know yet. If I was looking for some democracy, do you know where I could find this? <laughs> I seem to have lost it. <laughs> I've been looking everywhere.